Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 battle series. I hope you're all well and as we kicked off earlier in the week this week, it's been a bit different from usual on the channel. We are playing a brand new team every single day of this week and some of them a bit more gimmicky than others but that is the whole premise of this week going into the end of the week where we're going to do a poll on the five teams that we've played throughout the week. You guys can vote to say which one you'd like to see a little bit more of going into next week's episodes before we go into the Ultra series but if you've missed any of the past episodes from the last couple of days then go back up here I'll link that for you so you can go and check them out we've featured Mewtwo Groudon yesterday and then the day before that we featured Feromosa with that Dustman across Kyogre. so it was a lot of fun we've had loads of really good games so far hopefully we can continue them on in today's episode and I will unveil the team for you right now which is going to be this team it looks a little bit strange on face value well I mean Five of the Pokemon in the team kind of look standard, don't they? But there's one Pokemon sticking out like a sore thumb in there. And that is going to be that little old Golgeist that we've got. So, Golgeist, the basic premise of it is it has got the Z move. It's got access to Z Destiny Bond. It's got the access to the Never Ending Nightmare, which can kill a Lunala, unintimidate. It's straight through Shadow Shield we might like to add. It's, um, it's going to be a nice support for the team in general. It's also got Trick or Treat as well, so we can Trick or Treat, Z Trick or Treat something, which if you didn't know already, Z Trick or Treat gives you a boost in every single stat by one across the board, so it's pretty nice. So if we can get boosted up, we've got Psych up on Lunala that we can take advantage of with the Golgeist and with the Lunala, but on top of that, we can Trick or Treat opponents and then hit them with a super, super effective Moongeist Beam. We can hit them with a knockoff from Iron Incineroar and do all sorts of different shenanigans with this little Golgeist. It's got a base speed of 99, so it does add speed other opposing Lunalas, which is really nice, so we don't even need to factor in the speed tire or anything like that. And we've also got the Z Destiny Bond as well, which gives us room to set up with other stuff and get the trick room up maybe or a geomancy up on Xerneas so I think it'll work it's a bit gimmicky completely gimmicky but you know let's give it a try it's going to be a lot of fun so without further ado let's get into today's episode guys as always if you enjoy this sort of content please remember to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel so you don't miss these daily battle series episodes our flinch squad circuit our restreams our guide series and everything else Pokemon related on the channel I'm looking forward to playing this Gorgeist though. It's going to be a lot of fun. Gorgeist is a cool Pokemon, isn't it? Like, I, I liked it back in X and Y when it got revealed, you know. I think it was X and Y, wasn't it? And the, the little, the big, the little, the extra large, the large, all the different sizes that we see with it. But the nice thing is about it is it does have different base speed for different ones. So this one's the fastest one, the teeny, teeny one. Um, but I do feel like it can do a job. And we're going to try and see if we can do it today. And uh, if it takes a little bit too long to find an opponent, guys, I'll just cut straight back to when we do bump into someone. So we've got our first opponent of the episode, so we're kicking right into it and let's hop straight into Team Pre. So the first team we're going up against today is from a Japanese player. Looks like they're playing a QR code consisting of Lunala, Kyogre, Tapu Koko, Ferrothorn, Incineroar and Serena. So double grass on there. We've got the support option with the Incineroar, the Serena, kind of indicating that it may be Choice Scarf, Kyogre. But you can't discount that because you've got the Tailwind support there from the Lunala that could come in useful to support Kyogre if it has got a Z move there. Now, what are we going to do? I, I think we'll probably go the... I really want to go Golgeist here. Um, if we can not be intimidated, which is the big question here, then we can pick up a knockout onto that Lunala pretty pretty easily, turn one. Um, I think we'll go Lunala as well. Uh, Xerneas, for sure. And we, uh, because of the Ferrothorn, we definitely need the Incineroar. And also that Lunala as well, it does give us a little bit of support there. So let's see how this team gets on today. We'll lock in. And good luck to my opponent. And hopefully... <laughs> we can get this goal guys going because I, I do really like the idea of it I don't know if it'll work perfectly but this is the thing like we're trying it out it's gonna be fun this week obviously if the the text and things that we've got work out then it's just a bonus isn't it but you can never tell it always depends on the matchups and things like that I don't think this team's like super balanced in general but like the the mean part of it is balanced enough for us to do some stuff we're gonna see the Incineroar and the Serena come out for us to one, so we have to be a little bit. I'm gonna see that there's a Focus Sash on the Serena and an Aya Papa Berry on that Incineroar, which is interesting. Focus Sash, I love Fresk as an ability as well. You've got to think like it's such a good ability. 
Right, um, hmm. the incinerator does give us a few headaches. I think what we could probably do is just switch the Gorgeist out now. Keep it around for later when that Lunala comes back on the field. It also doesn't do too bad against potential Kyogres as well, and we'll just protect Lunala here. And Siri, for some reason, is activating on my phone, and it's like literally spelled out exactly what I've just said. It's so weird. Siri is weird. So we'll get the Incineroar in, get that Intimidate onto both of these physical attackers. It's very nice. It gives us a bit of alleviation against that opposing Incineroar going into the next turn as we just protect and preserve that Shadow Shield is what we really want to be doing here. So I'm going to see a Power Whip into the Lunala, try and break that Shadow Shield and a Knock Off into... Ooh, our Incineroar. Hmm. Okay. Just covering, I guess, as well and trying to get rid of that Gorgeist. Okay, so um, we're still not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and we can we can't fake out the opposing Incineroar. That's the that's the problem. But we can double the Serena. Now we will lose our Lunala doing this. That's the only problem, um, which we don't really want to do. And switching anything in, we'll take a knockoff. Um, Gore guys could probably come in and deal with it a lot better than anything else. And considering that, oh, hmm, I think, yeah, we'll go on to Gorgeist. It should take a minus one knockoff. It's got the Z move as well, remember, so it's not as powerful as we kind of imagine it to be. If we see a power whip and a knockoff into that slot, it's probably our best option. We don't want to be switching Xerneas into this slot to be taking a knockoff. So there's the power whip. It's minus one. Wow, it does win <laughs> more than what I expected. Oh, okay, we get the U-turn. And yeah, that's that's broke the sash at least for us. So that's good. We can get Xerneas in. I doubt there's going to be a knockoff into that slot once again unless my opponent's got like mega Jedi Yoda powers. But you never know. I would say we'll see a knockoff into that Gorgeist. I'm hoping it can stick around just for like one more turn. Come on. Please, Gorgeist, do this for us. Yes, we can, <laughs> we can do it. All right, that's good. Right, now we're in a nice position to go for this Geomancy here. Um, we need to be a bit careful, obviously, of rolls and stuff like that. But we could potentially go for the Destiny Bond, which would be quite nice because it does draw in all of these nasty attacks that we're going to be having to deal with from, from both targets. And especially if they go raw as well, then at least we can get around it that way. So I will go the, the Z Destiny Bond. I don't imagine the Serena taking us down unless it's got knockoff. But now we're going to see that switch out. And if we can get rid of that Incineroar, it makes such a difference to us going into the, the, the latter parts of this, this game. We are going to see the Geomancy here because it frees up uh, Lunala a lot more going into the rest of the game. Especially if the, um, the Kyogre is the Pokemon that my opponents brought. And maybe they do. Seeing two Ghost types in Incineroar, they're thinking maybe Lunala's not great here, although it can do a lot of work against what we've got. But here we go, we're going to at least get a Z move off with Gorgeist, so we're at least doing something protecting, especially if we see a roll. I mean, a roll here would be ideal, because then we get Fer uh, Incineroar in the next turn, we've got the Fake Out. And uh, we can go from there, because we put on a lot of pressure on that Ferrothorn as well. There it is. Okay, so we preserve Gorgeist. That's pretty good. So that's nice. Uh, and get perfectly get Incineroar in. Which is ideal, isn't it? Get that Intimidate onto both targets. We know about the Roar as well. Um, I think we can probably take a, Geo, uh, a Gyro Ball from the opposing Ferrothorn. Um, I kind of want to just Dazzle here and just fake out the opposing Incineroar. Just to prevent that Roar again. Because two Dazzles should take this Incineroar down. It has got the Eye of Papyri. It's not a Salt Vest, so at least we know that. Um, so it should be doing about 50% and then the next turn what we can do which is even better now because we can just Moonblast the Incineroar this next turn Flare Blitz that slot which makes it so much more manageable and with the Intimidate already out on the field from my opponent there's not really any way for them other than bringing in the Kyogre to weaken our Flare Blitz into that Ferrothorn slot so we will just like I say Moonblast and Flare Blitz the Ferrothorn and Gorgeist, even though it's not featuring right now, it's still done a big job to allow that and <laughs> to set up its Geomancy, which otherwise we would have been rolled out and not had any uses. So, so we're, we're holding homage to Gorgeist right now. And we've still got one more game with it to go after this as well, so we can't we can't get too down about it. Right. 
My opponent's got to feel a bit pinned in here with the Ferrothorn. Potentially going to go down to a, a Flare Blitz this turn. Wants to switch out. You want to see the Kyogre come in if you've got the Kyogre, but then you bring Kyogre in on a potential Moonblast. Mm, it makes the game a lot more difficult. Um, and I feel like we're in a decent position here. I've never noticed Xerneas has X's on its eyes before. That's really interesting. It's a cool little quirk design, isn't it? There. I'm gonna see Serena come back in now for my opponent, so we'll be able to remove this from the field. Moonblast should be enough to uh, easily take down this Incineroar. So we'll get rid of the cat. And as always, if I haven't mentioned as well, guys, as always, the team is in the description down below. If you wanna check it out, try it out, go ahead have fun with it and do whatever you want but if you do or as, as always do let me know how you find the team and what shenanigans you get up to with it so we do take the Serena down we've got two Pokemon left it's potentially a Lunala coming in with the Ferrothorn <laughs> gotta be a bit more careful oh it's Kyogre Kyogre okay hmm we've got to be a bit more careful with our Incineroar now because it's unlikely that we take down the Kyogre in one hit um, and we don't want to just freely I think what we'll do is sack sack good old Gorgeist here then we get the Intimidate back in with Incineroar on that Ferrothorn which is super important we can then have the fake out pressure for that Kyogre um, and we should get a good idea maybe what item this Kyogre is holding just by this Frisk as well so a really invaluable turn to even bring it in so choice Scarf and a Guav Berry. Perfect. I mean, it's such a good ability. Like, I keep going on about it, but I mean, just knowing, like, it's half the battle, knowing what your opponent is going to be doing, like, what items they've got, it makes it so much easier to approach. This is one of the things that I say in the Ultra Guides, is because we now know that the, um, the primals have to be carrying those those orbs it makes them so much easier to deal with because the speed tiering for them is just obvious you know the benchmarks that they they can hit maximum can hit minimum and you can just work around them and i mean with frisk it's kind of doing the same sort of thing you know what benchmarks these pokemon have and like it's it's pretty easy for us now just to go for a a moonblast and a fake out into the kyogre because we don't really worry too much about the ferrothorn like you say minus one gyrable we should be taking that with with xerneas so we don't really worry about that too much we know that it's got the scarf we know that it can't protect on this fake out moonblast will be more than enough to uh, to get it we just don't want to risk it Hanging on, being a bit of a bulkier variety, and then taking our Incineroar down, which is our win con now, because once the rain goes, there's no way that this, this, um, ooh. Come on! <laughs> Critical hit. Really? That's because we've been saying we can take the minus one. We've got Lunala to come in now, so it's fine, and Flare Blitz, Moon Guys Beam is going to be more than enough to pick up the knockout onto this Ferrothorn to take game one for us today. So, go guys do Go guys doing some work in this one, so it's not done itself any harm at all, and uh, it's done itself proud. We're proud of you, Gorgeist. And there's the forfeit. It's a good game to my opponent, and uh, we'll swiftly move into game two. And uh, I don't know about all of the teams who try this week, but the Gorgeist, I, there's something about it that I really just love. Um, it really just kind of screams to me, play me, play me, play me. And I feel like there's a lot more to it and a lot more potential to the whole build as well with the Gorgeist than maybe some of the other teams that we test this week. Uh, the Gorgeist just seems, I think it's a, that base 99 speed bracket that you can potentially get with it that can throw your opponents off so yeah I'm just in love with Gorgeist. I am but uh, we'll search for our next opponent. If it does take a little while I'll obviously cut back but hopefully it doesn't Let's get the phone out, it normally works. And there we go, there we go. We've got our next opponent of the episode. We'll hop straight into team preview. So our next opponent today, going up against the good old Gorgeist, is gonna be running a team of Incineroar, Dustman, Necrozma, Palkia, Serena, Cartana, and Landorus Therian form. So we've got the restricted combination of the Dustman, Necrozma, Palkia. It's an unusual combination of Pokemon, not one that I've really seen too much of before. Um, but you're looking at probably quite a heavy Trick Room team. You know, the Palkia's probably got Trick Room support. Could potentially have the Z-Move as well. 
but we can always frisk, can't we? You know, there's the support options in the double intimidate with the incinerator on the landerus. You've got the queenly majesty ability, so we have to be a bit careful around our fake out for that Serena and then the Cortana. I think one thing we definitely want to bring here is the incinerator. The intimidate is going to be so useful against incinerator. Does mean across my Serena. Landorus and it does such a good job against that Cartana and then you know Palkia obviously we need Xerneas so I think we're gonna lead off with the Gore guys the Lunala Incineroar and Xerneas again or have I just said Xerneas twice we'll soon find out but we're bringing Gore guys that's all we know we just know that it's all about the Gore guys it's a Gore guys show I hope I can get a really nice like little shot of Gore guys in this match so we can use it as the thumbnail <laughs> I should be thinking about the game not the thumbnail okay so there's little Gorgeist and a little Lunala well big 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 bat big bat let out with Palkia and Incineroar okay right a guav berry and ah, I need to be paying more attention more attention needs to be had um okay I think what we do is, hmm, could Z Destiny Bond take down Incineroar? Makes things a hell of a lot easier, doesn't it, going into the rest of this game? But then it's two Z Destiny Bonds, isn't it? Um, we could like I have to worry about the Palkia, of course, because it will add speed, Gorgas, if it is max speed. Um, the one thing we could do is Z Trick or Treat into the park here and moon guys beam it and that will take it down for sure yeah let's do that let's do it we're in our second game it's fine isn't it z move off <laughs> here we go we've got to do it at least once this episode if we don't do it let's stop bottling it and do it little go geist your emo hair is gonna just yeah trick or treat get this amazing animation which is one of the coolest like move animations ever we'll get Palkia that goes type in we'll throw out a big moon guys beam hopefully this is enough we've got the spooky player on Lunala remember so it is boosted so hoping it should be enough to pick up the knock oh no <laughs> knock off Lunala you've lost your spooky plate this is not good trick room no ah oh, that Palkia you know the worst thing about it as well is um we can't fake it out now. Okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna have to get Incineroar in. We're gonna have to try and get around these Trick Room turns. Please, let's not see like a, a Hydro Vortex or something into that park here. I know I missed the Frisk onto it <clears throat> earlier, so I don't know what item it's holding. But imagine the Z move though. Ha, <sighs> ha, go guys, just protect your little self. Don't worry about it. We'll get, we'll get out of this Trick Room soon. Flare Blitz, yeah, and, and what are we gonna see? Spatial round, doubling in, perfect. Remember, we can't, <clears throat> we can't fake out that park here. Um, now we could switch into Zern, keep Golgeist for later, which I really would like to do, and get it back onto the other side of the field by just going for a U-turn into the park here and picking up the knockout there. And I'm hoping we can do that because we've got to try and preserve Incineroar for the Dustman the Crosma. Gonna try and see some cheeky fake out getting around with that Serena coming in and its queenly majesty ability, but I'm sorry, your majesty. We ain't falling for it this time. We're going straight for that U-turn. Bye-bye, Palkia. And that is enough, and we'll be able to get little old Gorgeist back out onto the field. Staring down the face of danger. So there we go. And it's alright, because we've got that nice switch back into Incineroar now. So we can do this. We can do this. We can protect the pumpkin. Chris, what are you holding? The Mago Berry. Mago. Hey, Mago. Mango Italiano. Right, Incineroar coming in. Just ignore me for the moment. It's going to be all fine. Okay, so get the Intimidate off onto both of us. We need to see how these Trick Room turns, which... One of the things that I do worry about is faint knockoff into our Xerneas slot so good but I'm gonna I'm just gonna pull the protect anyway it's not the end of the world if that happens we'll get Incineroar back in protect our little pumpkin there we go Incineroar coming back onto the field get this Intimidate onto the cat and the queen over there right 
I'll just protect. No faint. That's what we want. No faint. No faint. Good. Good, good, good stuff. Good stuff. I jump kick. No, you've predicted perfectly. Okay, nice. Nice predict there, Miss Serena. Um, Incineroar is super important to us. It really is. Uh, how many turns of Trick Room have we got left? We've got one. Okay. Incineroar is so important to us. Like, too important to us. Um, to let it go down. We could go for the two turn. Geomancy. The thing is, I'm kind of... I'm not really feeling like I want to do that, though. Um, and we can't fake out, of course. So, I'm just going to switch back into Gorgeist. I'm not going to go for the Geomancy. I'm just going to go for a straight-up Dazzle. Because the Incineroar is probably going to try its luck and get the knockoff onto Xerneas. Like, I definitely would. And a Hydrum Kick coming out into that slot will be perfect. You go out, Berry. The Mago Berry. You turn. No! Oh, we don't want that. Duskman and the Crosma are going to hit the field now. Oh, we see a high jump kick. Come on, Serena, do this. We could have went for a Geomancy as well. But the risk was too much. And obviously with this thing in the back, we don't want to... Haha! Uh... -ha! <laughs> there we go. Can't, you can't kid a kidder, can you, Miss Serena? This won't take it down. It'll just proc that berry. <laughs> Dimensions turn back to normal. Um, I think we'll get Lunala onto the field now for Xerneas. And do we just go for a Phantom Force into the Necrozma? I think we do. We'll probably see the Incineral come in for that Serena now. Mm. But we might see a Trick Room setup, which would do us like if the Serena stays on the field, that'd be perfect because we'll get the Phantom Force down. And then if they do decide to bring in the Incineral, ah, uh, you see, it's not going to happen. It's just we wouldn't have been intimidated if they'd done switch it here, because we'll be out of the way, avoiding it. But now we are going to be intimidated. But if the Trick Room does go up, it's fine, because at least we'll be dodging attacks this next turn, uh, which I would imagine Trick Room to go up. Photon Geyser, though, just into that slot. So it's fine, we'll be able to get Incineral back onto the field, and uh, we can go for that into the, the Necrozma slot. So we'll preserve Lunala for later on. We needed to deal with that Necrozma. We could have doubled there, I mean. But... Yeah, it's protecting. You can't protect on Phantom Force, though. So we could have done this. It breaks your protect. Yeah. That's the one thing we didn't want to do. That is the one thing we didn't want to do. It really is. Flare Blitz. Where are you going? Into Gorgeist. Poor little Gorgeist is going to go down now. No, it survives. Oh my gosh. Gorgeist, you are a, you are a champion. A champion among men. Um, What we will do is go for the Destiny Bond and we will go for a Flare Blitz. Yeah. Um, Destiny Bond. Because if the Incineroar takes us down, this is the thing. Like, we want it to take us down here. No! You're trying to get around the fake out once again. Sneaky cannot be sneaky. But I mean, if the. Yeah, if the Necrozma decides to take us down, then I'm also fine with that. We'll get this Flare Blitz. This should put us into our berry range, proc our berry. Um, if, I don't think it takes us. No, it doesn't take us down. Very yum yum yum. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Where are you going? Photon Geyser. It's into the... Oh, you're going to take us down. Going downtown. Gorgeist, you've done so well, my little friend. You took down that big bad Necrozma with you. Good job. Good, <laughs> good job. Right, Xerneas in. We haven't got access to Fake Out. They have with their Incineroar. Um, they've also got access to feints as well, like we mentioned earlier, we're in a similar situation. But there's no trick room this time, so it's all, it's all good. So I'm just gonna, mm, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm gonna flare blitz this arena because I do think I'm gonna geomancy as well. 
Yeah, no, no fake out coming up, no pressure. So we'll get this Geomancy. I mean, we might see a high jump kick from the Serena into the Incineroar, but it's detracting attention away from the Xerneas if it does that, so it means we will definitely see out this turn. But we could see a double up into Xerneas, to be honest. Power Whip and Flare Blitz. Which, okay. Predicting the switch maybe there. Now, bye bye Serena. Incineroar is definitely not going to take our Xerneas down from... Ooh, it does survive, just hanging on there. And Flare Blitz into Xerneas. But now it's all but done. It's all but done, because we can just we can just dazzle. Dazzle, razzle, dazzle. Razzle, dazzle. And you turn into the Incineroar. We'll probably proc a berry here, I would imagine. But we, we like, I don't want to... Moonblast the Incineroar, like we could take it down, it leaves the Serena open. Take our Incineroar down. Ooh, helping hand. We should have went for that Moonblast. I think we'll be alright anyway. Helping hand Flare Blitz. Ooh, it's just a Burberry range. Who gets the who wins the speed type? Oh, it's not Burberry range at all. Oh, we don't want to lose to a, a, an Incineroar here. Okay. We are 100% going to go down to a helping hand flare blitz from this instant roll. There's no way we take that, I don't think. Not with Zern. Flare blitz. But the recall might be what saves our bacon. Oh! Zern actually takes it. Okay, Xerneas. I take back everything I said. While we psych up with our Lunala. Just for the overkill. And go for that Moonblast. And take another win for this lovely team. So we're not doing bad with our teams this week. It's been pretty decent. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We didn't get to see some of the more meme stuff we could do with Gorgeist, like the Trick or Treat, uh, Z Trick or Treat Psych Up sort of stuff. The Z Trick or Treat is amazing because it gives you the plus one across the board there. And then the Psych Up next to the Lunala. It's probably because there's a lot of Incineroar out in this format and uh, it does make it a bit more difficult to kind of execute that. But as a, an end game situation, it would be very good. And I'm sorry, I've got, I feel like I've got something in my eye I really do so if I keep rubbing it and I'm like oh what's going on that's why and um, but yeah the goal guys has been a really fun team to play today I hope you guys have enjoyed it remember that we'll be putting this team into the poll at the end of the week for you guys to vote on going into next week if you'd like to see a bit more of it because I feel like there's a lot more to see from this team as well so just keep this one in mind for when the voting starts on Friday but we're gonna end it up there guys thank you so much for tuning in we'll be back with another wacky team tomorrow so do tune in for that have a great evening afternoon morning whatever time of day it is wherever you are in the world take care of yourselves and i'll see you for the next one so until then take care and bye bye